good morning 10th class yesterday we completed our poem how to tell wild animals and today let's get back to the remaining letters which we had to do today we shall be doing the enquiry letter enquiry letter what does that mean actually before undertaking any tour trip or trying to pursue a course or before ordering anything whatever queries you have and you wish to clarify all your queries you would obviously <clears throat> would like to know many things you have some queries you have some doubts and you have to enquire someone about all those things which you have in your mind all the doubts which you have in your mind so whosoever is the manager of that particular place suppose you want to do a course in german language okay you wish to learn german language you right now whatever the phase we all are undergoing and you feel besides the studying part you have to do some you have to learn some coding so whom would you ask about it so when you wish to enquire someone about all the doubts which you have in your mind you would write an enquiry letter so let us see the format and what all points or the details we would include when we are writing a letter to someone it is my younger sister's wedding and i have to enquire the person who's the uh, owner of that big hotel i have to enquire about whether the dates are free available then what all things what is the area of the lawn many many queries there are we would right now discuss all those things in our enquiry letter okay <clears throat> let's start with how to write an enquiry letter whatever we are discussing children all these things are not to be written okay i'm just explaining you an enquiry letter is a formal letter written to enquire and get details regarding something that a person is interested in just just like i told you just now that i have to learn german language or i have to book a lawn or a banquet for my younger sister's wedding whatever suppose a person is interested in it is usually written to gain some information from the recipient recipient means owner of that place owner of that banquet hall it could be written with respect to an item that a person is interested in buying okay i have to open a <clears throat> showroom and in that showroom i want some furniture items so i am writing a letter to the manager of one of the place <clears throat> wherein the furniture is supplied so interested in buying i wish to buy the furniture from them so i would seek some queries a course that a person wants to study or a vacation trip that a person wants to go on etc so query or enquiry can be regarding anything as the sender of the enquiry letter needs information about something the enquiry letter must mention the contact details of the sender sender means myself so all my contact details where the said information has to be sent i am asking the owner of that banquet hall all my doubts so he would send me 
all the details he would answer all my queries so my address my contact details should all be perfect it must contain the particulars of the thing inquired about <clears throat> i should be clear with my words it is important to provide some information about yourself so that the recipient can authenticate the source of the inquiry who would he answer so you need to give all your contact details in a very precise way it must also list down all the aspects of the thing about which the sender wants detailed information i have to tell him suppose i have to learn the german language so i say presently <clears throat> i am in my 10th standard my exams are about to begin in the month of june which probably would finish by the end of the june and till i begin with my 11th class studies for the month of july i wish to pursue the course through your institute so i have clarified him everything so in this regard i have to be very clear with whatever i am stating it to him suggestions to write an inquiry letter give a brief introduction about yourself provide the details about the thing or the subject of the inquiry if you require a detailed information write your questions accordingly what all doubts you have be clear whatever you are asking if you require the information by a particular date then do mention it in the letter that yes please answer me your quick reply shall help me so mention the detail because you have to take the further decision after that thank them for their time and consideration at the end okay so all these are the points to be remembered when we write an inquiry letter now here onwards you would write the content in your notebook chalo right okay what exactly is the format of the inquiry letter sender's address in two lines first line house number colony second line city and date city and state third line to be left fourth line you would put the date i again repeat the word date not to be written the date is to be put the date is to be put in the format as i told you when we were doing the letter to the editor then again the evil line then receiver's designation the manager or whoever it is then address of the addressee again the evil line sir ma'am whoever you are addressing again after that subject subject means inquiry regarding so whatsoever is the question accordingly you would seek your inquiry soon after the subject next line onwards the body of the letter begins now you have three paragraphs in the inquiry letters body first para introduce yourself and mention the purpose of writing the letter why are you writing the letter as i told suppose uh, um, i am so and so my younger sister's wedding is scheduled to be on 5th of may and for that sake i wish to enquire all these details in order to get the banquet hall or the lawn of your reputed hotel booked okay so what's up mention the purpose of the writing if suppose it's a course and you read about that course in the newspaper so you may mention it this way this is in reference to your advertisement published in the times of india dated so and so i wish to inquire about the course which i wish to pursue in the german language kindly furnish me with the following details so in first para you would mention these things now comes the main content that is the second para which states 
the details of the inquiry. So in the first para, your last line was kindly furnish me with the following details. Now, what would be those details? See, I am just giving you an idea. Whether you are doing a course, what all queries you may be having, if you are going for a tour, educational tour, or a package tour, what all would be your queries if it's a party, or if you wish to place an order. Before placing an order, and you are asking the person about what all queries you would have, let's discuss one by one. If it's a course, what is the duration of the course? Few months? or years? What is the fee structure? What are the timings of the classes? Number of students per batch? What is the eligibility criteria? Eligibility criteria means if they say if you are, uh, if you wish to do any of the course, so do they say that in 10 standard or 12 standard, you should be having that much percentage? Means is there any cutoff needed? if you have to do that course, so eligibility criteria. Postal facility, postal facility means you stay somewhere around in Bundi and that um, institute which does that course is in Kota. So you are asking that, is there any hostel facility, admission procedure, any scholarships available, transport facilities provided? If suppose uh, you live in Kota itself, so you are asking that institute whether do uh, whether they own any of their buses. So transportation facility also you are asking about. The mode of payment. How do they expect you to pay the fee? Cash, check, digitally, whatever. So mode of payment, faculty details, class duration. Okay, first the timings of the classes asked, then the duration of each period asked study material provision, then whether it's a certificate or just a diploma course, is there any entrance exam, any demo classes provided, or documents needed for admission. So these are all your queries. So you would frame them in a statement, or if you're not framing in a statement, point-wise you would mention all your queries. Kindly furnish me with the following details. So any of these, you may, whatever you remember, you would be mentioning them in your letter, but they should be mentioned. If you wish to go for a tour, number of days inclusive in the package, obviously, whether it's a three night, four days, whatsoever. Places which that package tour people would be including, places to be visited. Itinerary. Itinerary means day-wise schedule. Where would they take you to 28th, on 28th, then 29th, then 30th. So 28th, morning where, then afternoon where, night where, then uh, 29th, which hotel, then where would you have the breakfast? All the details, day-wise, time-wise, place-wise. So itinerary, total expenditure, accommodation facility, mode of transport, mode of payment, facility provision. Means are they providing the food, boarding, lodging, pick and drop facility in uh, uh, the package too? Then any additional expenses, whether they are providing any discount or early bird or offer or special attractions. So these are to be mentioned when you are seeking them information about the two. Now, third thing, my younger sister's wedding, my younger brother's wedding. I'm inquiring someone to hold a party. Hall, banquet, lawn, provision. What do I want? How big is the party which is to be thrown? So whether you need a hall or a banquet or a lawn, rent of the venue, area of the venue, decoration charges, timings which you would be telling that it's at the evening function or the afternoon function, catering services, 
event organizers they provide or not many also the main course snacks whatsoever you wish to discuss you would be seeking them about all the price list everything price per person price per plate whatever and seating arrangement okay all these details of the queries you would be asking them next before placing an order okay i have to place an order about some sports items for my school so obviously i would seek quotation from different different shop owners so whosoever quotes me the least price i'll give my order to that person okay so i would be asking four to five people suppose i would be asking around four to five shop owners then they'll state me their quotation and then finally i'll decide whom to place the order so inquiry catalog of the products first and foremost we would ask them the catalog some samples price list how much discount they'll give it to you quality assurance warranty guarantee provision okay i am the owner of a big hostel and i want all the electrical equipments for my hostel so i would be asking different different shop owners so whether they are providing me the warranty or the guarantee on the electronic or the electric item which they are supplying i want 10 geysers i want 20 acs so i would be seeking all the things from them what would be the mode of payment or the terms of payment how would they deliver me the items means of transport and all its expenses are to be borne by them so all these shall be my queries children here we are discussing all the queries which may be happening but truly speaking go through many 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 examples so that you are well aware and very fast you are able to write the letter without giving a second thought to it that it's a difficult one or not so it's on you your reading habit would make you feel confident of yourself okay that was para 2 para 3 now wherein we would conclude the matter it shall be highly appreciated if you send me the detailed tentative plan at the address mentioned above mentioned above me the first two lines wherein you told your address it would help me to decide and plan accordingly a prompt reply from you will oblige me i will be grateful if you could send me the brochure along with the enrollment form so that i could register in the course at the earliest here you could manipulate a few lines course means uh, if suppose you are trying to undertake a course but if it's a party then accordingly the line to be manipulated and the last line with a complimentary close looking forward for an early response yours faithfully or sincerely and then your own name as provided in the question okay children so first para introducing yourself telling the occasion and all why do you seek the query second para all the details of the inquiry whatever doubts you have you are asking and the third paragraph would be a conclusion okay <clears throat> let's do a sample question you are anshul a student of class 10th and a resident of 56d ring road ito new delhi and you wish to be a choreographer write a letter to the director now clearly they have stated you are writing a letter to the director of national institute of choreography noida you live in delhi and you are seeking information from someone who is in noida seeking information about the course admission procedure eligibility criteria and necessary details now three details they have already provided means three details means queries and necessary details means what all things would you think on your own and ask them about now see <clears throat> the letter is here
address leave a line date leave a line the director national institute of choreography sector 16 noida again leave a line salutation subject enquiry regarding course in choreography now begin with the letter this is in reference to your advertisement in the times dated so and so regarding the courses in choreography offered by your reputed institute i want to state that i am currently in 10th class and preparing for my final exams i am very much interested in dancing and want to take it as a career i am also given to understand that this institute is by far the best so far as choreography is concerned and i would very much like to be a part of it kindly send me the prospectus and the application form i would be highly grateful if you could provide me with the following information okay so the first para language may vary according to whatever your query is now what all details you want kindly furnish me with the following details or the following information the department and program faculty funding opportunities scholarships available admission procedure eligibility criteria hostel fees hostel facilities then mode of payment more and more of details whichever you have already been told can be added and after those queries you would say kindly send me the brochure along with the enrollment form at the earliest so that i could register myself for the course and your subscription and then your name with this finishes your letter okay see para 2 many more details can be added here as i already been explained to you fine this format para 1 para 2 para 3 to be written this sample question to be written another sample question you will be writing all in your copy chip second copy fine write a letter seeking detailed inquiries from the general manager holiday in kanpur for conducting the wedding reception of your younger brother at the hotel make specific inquiries about the catering cost per head service and decoration charges so a very few details which they would be providing you you can also ask for the advance amount to be paid and you are krishna and kamini of kanpur other than that the necessary information you would think of and then write now this is the letter same way address date receiver's designation receiver's address subject salutation now c para 1 wedding reception of my younger brother mukesh will be solemnized on 20th june we want to hold the ceremony and the wedding reception at your hotel the party may include about 250 heads including children we would like to book four rooms in the hotel for the guests also the ceremony may continue up to the early hours of 21st may kindly furnish the following specific details regarding the reception function and your queries catering cost per head service charges decoration charges decoration charges means decoration of the stage plus the mandap then the room charges then the advance money to be paid okay so the queries we would appreciate if you send any other relevant information concerning the wedding reception then subscription then signature okay children so these were the format para 1 2 3 two samples all should be written in your second copy is that fine moreover we just did two examples children many examples are there so you need to go through as many examples as you come across okay children you can take advantage of the time which you have in your hand having an expertise over these writing skills is a great asset 
you would automatically get to learn or understand the importance when you encounter all these things in your later life. So please take everything, whatever we are doing seriously and do the work in your consistency. Okay. Goodbye, children. Have a nice day and take care.